So my hair's finally growing, y'all. I'm not bald headed no more, y'all. Okay. <laughs> ready to go get my hair did because I cannot like deal with this looking like this for 30 years and I'm running late as usual like per usual I'm gonna be like seven minutes late because I'm leaving from work and I have to take the toll roads and I hate taking toll roads because like why are you charging me money I'm just trying to get where I'm going like it's not my fault y'all spent millions or billions of dollars to to build this road like what they got to do with me i pay my taxes anyway like i was saying i'm getting my hair done just getting it straightened and a little trim probably and i want to take some pictures with my friend kim this weekend so looking forward to that and then um what else do i got going on i gotta finish my taxes Ugh. and then i oh my god look at this traffic for what this is upsetting me and my homegirls. Now, sir, you know damn well. People do not be driving nice out here. But yeah, I'm getting my hair done. Um, I had a lot going on today. Like, uh, y'all saw me. I went to the dentist for a little bit. I didn't record that for obvious reasons. Uh, this morning, I woke up to text from my friend Selena. Y'all remember Selena. But she, um, she had her baby boy. That was my friend that I told you moved to London um, to be with her husband and his family. And she, y'all, what God has for you is what he has for you. Because within a year, this woman reconnected with somebody, got married, had, got pregnant, moved to another state. Sorry, another country. Okay, so now she's a UK baddie with her UK husband and living happily ever after, I hope. Like, I just, you know, I pray that they have and just grow and just build and have even more than they already have. So I think that's going to be amazing. So happy for her. And I'm, I'm waiting to see who's next. Like, who else going to have a baby? Who else getting married? Hopefully married first and then the baby. Ha baby last okay married house baby in that order okay in that order but yeah i y'all i've had a lot going on this week has been kind of rough like we're, today's thursday you know in case you're interested because i never put the times or like the actual dates on purpose because i'm always so far behind i never know when i'm even gonna post anything but um it's you know it was the lady time yesterday was a very rough day i just felt like i couldn't do anything right like i couldn't get anything together but today was such a better day i got some sleep i took off a little bit from work to go to my dentist appointment i had sushi and i had some bomb sushi today like it was the bomb.com and i need to go back to that place and then um you know i had just a great rest of the day at work had a few really great conversations with people and I'm just excited about like what's getting ready to come so now um, I think that I was just really upset this week because I had a deal fall through uh, for real estate and it was like something I worked hard on for like weeks and I felt so bad for my client to like go through that and then after it was done I felt bad for me because I felt like the real estate broker like on the other side the listing broker she was just so unethical she did everything just she was just such a snake honestly like she just was so awful she was not honest she I thank God for his grace and his mercy because she really almost pulled one over on us 
And if had it not been for God leaving one mistake, one stone unturned for her, we were, you know, it would have been, it would not have been so obvious what, like what she was doing, honestly. So, yeah. I'm just very grateful that, you know, that deal did eventually end, but it just, it still was sad because like I said, I worked so hard on it and my client was looking forward to it. That's the most important thing, my client. And, you know, the title company, the lenders, everybody worked so hard for what, but it, it was a learning experience. But this weekend, I'm just looking forward to going out to dinner with my girl. We're going to take some content. Maybe I'll do a vlog for you guys. So, like, I'm starting this vlog today, but on Thursday. But let's see if it continues on to, like, Wednesday. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's see if it continues on to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay? Maybe we'll throw a little real estate stuff in there, too. We'll see. But how are y'all guys doing? Like, what have you been dealing with this week? I know I can't be the only one who's been on the struggle bus. Like, shoot, that's not where I need to be. See, I almost missed my, my exit. I almost went somewhere. Oh, shit. Y'all, something almost just cracked my windshield. A, a rock. Thank you for not cracking. Ooh, that was scary. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We might end up going out to dinner, taking a few pictures. Maybe going, um, going to Soho house or something we'll see what we can get into but either way I'll love you guys and I'll see you later and I'll check back in with you when I'm at Porsche's getting my hair done I would like to interrupt this message just so you can see the fucking traffic that I'm in look at this shit let me turn this around look y'all I've been here I'm, I can't be more than five miles away from this place. Why is it going to take me 25 minutes? I'm literally like, if there was no traffic, this literally would be like a six minute drive. That's wild. Like, jail. Jail. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm mad as hell. Whatever. And then let her pick up whatever she want CC Gucci, he gon' take up whatever she want She pissed me off, so I just think it whatever Well, Portia's working on my hair Wait, Portia, oh, thank you Can you show me? Oh, no, I'm not getting you You gotta hold it for me Show me Oh, crap, I see what you're saying Oh, girl, I see a little hang time You think it might But in the summit, it could be like Maybe where my finger is Like right here Are you recording? Yeah, it's not recording Yeah the the red <laughs> the red light is on. Well, I don't see you. Oh, because it's facing me. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. But I'm like, I think by the summer it could be a little late. Because I feel like your hair grows a little more in the summer, you know. But I wish my hair grew as fast as this dog's hair. Okay, thanks, Portia. Okay. And see you. And it's looking shy. I'm gonna keep up with the the scalp treatments. Hey y'all, we leaving. Portia done hooked me up. So now I can just go to sleep. Thanks, Portia. Hey, let me pay my bill before I walk out without paying. Nothing in life is free. <laughs> like, let me get out of here. Her, the price done went up, y'all. Okay, yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> yeah, the price done went up. She said things have got to change. Well, it is literally 10.33 right now. I got there at 5.50. 5.50! And this is when I'm getting home. Oh my god. Uh, I'm literally about to just brush my teeth and go the fuck to bed. Okay, y'all. We are getting ready. Don't mind the mess back there. But we're getting ready to go out, me and my friend Kim. I think we're going to this restaurant called Kanji, which is kind of like a Caribbean fusion type restaurant here. So I'm excited. And all of a sudden, the hunger has crept upon me, okay? So 
I'm just gonna do a little one tool. And I think I'm gonna put some lashes on in case we take some pictures because that's what she said. She wanted to take some pictures. Hmm. I'm gonna try these lashes. Y'all, she has the best lashes. Like, don't argue with me about that because I really think that they do. And for the best price, honestly. Where's my little, I need to buy a new eyebrow powder. This is kind of getting out of hand. It's kind of getting out of hand. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to focus. So I'm gonna turn on my little YouTube and then we're gonna, you know, make something shake. <laughs> y'all, <laughs> I got y'all back in the bathroom. Um, I didn't do like the best job on my makeup. Um, it's just all right. I, it all started going bad when my lashes started doing the electric slide on my head. So there's that. And then my hair, God knows how that's going to turn out because um, I had it pinned last night. But then I worked all day. Thank God I worked from home so I didn't have to like take my pins out. But, you know, the pins definitely moved while I was sleeping and while I was like out and about. So let's see what it's giving when I take out these pins. Yeah, why y'all yeah, didn't say nothing about my wigs that are drying over there? Like, y'all wasn't gonna say nothing to me? That's okay, cause y'all my real friends then. Cause y'all know I don't keep the cleanest of the houses. Even though I'm not gonna lie, my house is pretty clean right now. Okay, it's giving a little something. Just needs to be brushed out. And you know the hair doesn't really look that good at first anyway like you gotta do a little you know so let's see what it's doing gonna do the edges I'm gonna shake it out a little bit okay it's coming to life a little bit but it's not uh, if i had time i would have did something put a little something in it Hmm. It's giving flat. That's what it's giving. Ugh, I don't know. And this is definitely not a middle part. I like my parts down the complete middle. But the way she parted it, I can't do it like that. I should have left it. I'm gonna have to leave it down. But this, this is not a middle part. This... I have a very symmetrical face. Like that would have been a middle part, something like here. But yeah. You know, fun fact about me, that's actually what like, sometimes people are like, oh, Taylor, you're a cute girl. And I'll ask them and be like, what, what about, you know, me is like distinctive. And I swear to God, oh, don't mean it's swear to God, sorry God. I promise you like eight times out of 10, people will always say something like, it's not one particular thing. And a lot of times, like if people can recognize, like put their finger on it, they say it's because I have like very symmetrical facial features. Um, but I don't have anything that like really peaks out, like, you know, like super high cheekbones or like big eyes. I do have a big forehead though, but um, I don't know. What kind of underwear do you wear with something like this? Because I don't like... Oh, y'all can't even see my outfit. Hold on. Let me finish putting on some stuff. Because, you know, we definitely going to need a little shimmer. A little shim shimmer. I wish I had my little brush. I feel like my nipple wants to slip out. I might have to put on my little nipple pads. Okay. And then, you guys... um. For fragrance, I think, where is my fragrance? Oh. I'm gonna be doing Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. I'm obsessed with this. There's a whole story behind this fragrance. 
I met this DJ at a party and he walked past and I was like, damn, somebody smells good as fuck. So I'm just walking around sniffing and I'm like, I realize it's him. And he tells me, I'm like, what are you wearing? And he's like this and some other fragrance. But he's wearing this and another fragrance. I won't give his other um, fragrance because the combination, you know, that's a little unique. But for me, the overwhelming scent was this, this ombre leather. So I got a small one from um, Nordstrom. But when I kept smelling him and it was so odd because I literally could not stop smelling this man. He just smelled so good to me. And after a while, I think that he felt like it was getting awkward <laughs> because I literally was like, he was talking and I'm like next to him like this, like, like all of in the man's neck. Like I bet he thought I was weird. So he was like, just, just give me a hug or something. Cause I think that he felt like it was getting awkward, but, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to finish getting dressed. What type of jewelry? What type of jewelry? No, wait, I cannot take myself seriously. I'm going to take these boys down because like, come on now. Y'all, BRB, I gotta figure out what type of jewelry. Y'all, I'm literally dressed like I'm going to the club and now it's like summertime, so it's so bright outside. <laughs> you know, we're gonna make it do what it do, okay? We, we're doing the best that we can. y'all guys in here because y'all be weighing me down kind of heavy what's up you guys it is like two days later i sorry i'm looking at myself in the mirror because i put on this cream blush and it looked so pink in the mirror but now i think i need more on i i don't know i was trying to do like a little kind of geisha look but i i kind of like it I think I put on a little bit too much blue eyeshadow, but you know, it's so cute to me. But I am about to comb out my hair. Do I have like a little dry oil or something I can put or a little serum? Hmm. You know what? My yell gave me this um oil like a light oil for daily use i think i'm gonna bust out this bad boy and it's the same rosemary mint oil that i love so much but i think i'm gonna start using this just a, a little bit of it to like comb out my hair add a little shine but not too much Dang, that's kind of like all I needed. 
Um, but I think I will come it through it a little bit. Just got this brush yesterday from Marshalls. That's actually all that you guys missed yesterday is I went to Marshalls and I bought a bunch of stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to show you guys that eventually. Like, I'll do a haul, um, like a Marshalls haul video because I spent almost $800 there. And I was going to return all the stuff that didn't fit um, today, but I had like a stroke of energy or a blast of energy or something. I don't know what you call it. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to knock out a few hauls today. So you're welcome. <laughs> Those are the videos that get the most views anyway. Um, only like a select few of you guys watch my vlogs. That's why I don't do them a, a ton and I'm not as consistent with them, but I definitely like doing hauls, but obviously it's expensive because I don't like work with a bunch of brands to like get a bunch of free stuff, you know, like some of these other girls do, but who knows, we'll work our way up to that eventually. But you guys, I do also want to do um, a closet haul. I'm just like completely uninspired, like completely uninspired by my closet, like my wardrobe is just not doing it for me like I really want to take everything out and just kind of either start all over or reorganize things or literally take everything out and like everything like put it on my bed and then put back the stuff that I enjoy and the stuff that I'm iffy about or don't think I will ever wear I kind of want to do something with it like I wish I was big enough where I could have like a closet sale and like people would actually come to it and shop but I'm not, so there goes that. <laughs> like there goes that, but um, yeah, I just put some of this oil. This is the oil I was talking about, you guys. Focus. It's still focusing on me. Okay, what if I take myself out? Why is it not focusing? Is that I don't think it's focusing you guys but it's a Mayel rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil infused with biotin and encourages longer healthier hair but it's just the same oil I usually use but a lighter version so your hair doesn't get like bogged down this is what I usually use and y'all know y'all seen this before so both very good in my opinion so we're just gonna put that down there you have graduated. You've made it from my other shelf to like my daily use stuff. Y'all, I'm not feeling this blush. I think I'm gonna put a little orange on top of it. And I have a little pimple. Or maybe it's not that bad. Maybe you guys can even see it, I don't know. But um, yeah, let's kinda make it snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, like let's get this haul started. Yeah. And here's another look at the eyeshadow. Cute, right? You guys, and here is the closet that's stealing my joy. Like, most of this I'm just not even into. I definitely want to have, like, a closet sale. The thing about it is it's just so hard to let go. Like, I have so many clothes, but it's just, like, my style changes constantly because of how much I'm like influenced by things that I see like I don't know and then my size is always changing it's just like a it's so rough being a woman like I promise you it really is so um but yeah I think right now I'm getting ready to film like a collective haul so I guess we'll probably start with that that sounds like a good idea okay BRB <laughs> Home back outside. Home nigga that made me mad. Home back outside. Home nigga that made me mad again. Yeah, yeah. Walk this milk and I'm tea. Pop first, I'll let you burn. But anyway, y'all, I finished with my video. 
So be on the lookout for that. I don't know when I'm going to post this and I don't know when I'm going to post that. But um, while I was trying things on, this is like a very cute little simple outfit. I just had on these jeans. I don't have any shoes right now anymore, but I had on these jeans. Um, just this little corset from Forever 20. No, Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova. Um, I need to lose a little bit of back fat back there, but still really cute. Yeah. I'm loving my hair. It just is getting a little bit more healthy, but it's actually so much longer than it looks because it's curled. But look, it actually comes down here. So my hair is finally growing, y'all. I'm not bald headed no more, y'all. Okay. But yeah, I'm just going to upload some of my footage and just chillax for the rest of the day. I kind of wish I had like a glass of wine that I could have. But... We not gonna do that. We not gonna do that. Cause I gotta be up early tomorrow. <sighs> but what could I do? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys something. Let me turn on a light cause it's kind of dark now. I don't know if that helped too much. But y'all, um, yesterday I went to Marshalls and Target, um, and I got this dip. It was on sale. This taco dip. Y'all, it is actually very good. And it was like $3.80. And the calories aren't even that bad. Like, one time I lost a lot of weight because I started snacking on, like, vegetables and, um, and like, hummus. But this has, like, very similar calories to hummus. Like, two tablespoons is 60 calories. So you can literally have four tablespoons of this. Um, and it's delicious. And just, like, you know, mix it with, like, snap peas or, like, carrots or um, peppers or little cucumbers, etc., and have yourself like a little nice snack. And I also bought another one. Here it is. Uh, I don't know too much about this one, but I was thinking maybe I could put it like on bread, like have it like a half bagel, but this is everything seasoning dip. So it's made with cream cheese, Greek yogurt, and everything seasoning blend. So I wonder what that's giving. We'll find out. But I know that the taco dip tasted really good with chips. So um, I'm imagining it's probably still going to taste really good with like the peppers and the carrots and the snap peas so I can be healthier. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm just going to chillax for a little bit and um, I'll see you guys when I see you. Actually, you know what? I, maybe I should end the vlog here because it's like I'm not going to see you guys for a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I didn't do a ton, but I am at least happy to like get back vlogging somewhat and I'm happy to see you guys. Look at you. Like I haven't seen you in so long. You're looking so good. You're looking healthy, but you do. You look like you're drinking your water. You look like you're drinking your water. <laughs> the skin is looking luscious. It's, it's not looking dry. It's giving, it's giving wealthy. It's giving healthy. Okay. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, bye. <laughs> I'm run it up. A couple of packs that came in and I'm in and I'm out. Ain't no time to be fucking up. I put on a shirt and I put on my pants on my box. We decay for the sun is up. Pussy ass niggas, they talking that fuck. I'm taking it up and I'm on my problems. The pain that I'm feeling is up. You lost. I'm making it rain like I'm shedding these solids. The ops is outside and they looking like talk. I'm taking my time, but I ain't on my home. Earn me these shots while I'm off through the jungle. And the engine is having that shit sound like something.